Welcome to lecture 18 of Aerospace Propulsion. Today we're going to talk about, continue our discussion of component characteristics, uh, focusing on combustors and turbines. Combustors are really complicated <laughs> and are not amenable to any kind of simple analysis. So we're really only going to be able to do uh, a qualitative overview here. Um, and then for the purpose of analysis, we'll just basically treat them as a black box. And turbine performance variation over operating conditions tends to be small compared to that for compressors, so a, a much more simplified treatment is actually possible. The key messages to take away from this lecture are that combustors, again, are the most complicated part of a jet engine. Conflicting requirements to try to keep pollution low and enable, uh, m exist to keep pollution low as well as to try to enable mid-flight relight of an engine, um, and also lowering um, nitrous oxide emissions tends to increase carbon monoxide emissions and unburned hydrocarbons. For our purposes, we're going to assume 100% combustion efficiency and a 4% stagnation pressure loss through the combustor. Turbines have much less performance variation than compressors do, and they can be modeled as having constant efficiency and behaving like choked nozzles in most cases. Turbine cooling uh, negatively affects the cycle efficiency. There are no practical analytical models of combustors. Um, combustors basically need highly turbulent flow to achieve combustion in a relatively small volume. Um, a larger volume would decrease the flow velocities uh, and um, that, that would be better for easier for the combustion process but wouldn't be so good for, for the engine because we want a small volume to prevent the engine from becoming too big or too long. And when it comes to combustor design, experience and experimental testing remain absolutely critical. So as a first thing to consider, what, let's, you know, if we had a, a large or a long combustor, obviously this would be heavy. But besides weight, what other reasons are there to keep the combustor short? So take a couple minutes and think about this and try to come up with an answer for yourself before you move on to the next part of the video. And we'll also take this question up during the tutorial. 